This is section 4.6, graph sketching. In this video, we're just going to review how to find asymptotes, both horizontal and vertical. So let's go through this example. We have this function. Um, before I even start finding my asymptotes, though, I'm first going to simplify this a little bit and combine my fractions. Remember, in order to combine fractions, they need to have the same denominator. So I'm going to multiply both of these by the other denominator. Over here, I'll get x minus 1, plus when I multiply this across, I get plus x. And all of this is over. Multiply x by x minus 1, and you get x squared minus x. And simplifying the top, I have 2x minus 1 over x squared minus x. All right, here's my function. Let's go ahead, go through our horizontal asymptotes first. If you remember, all the way back from uh, chapter 2, the way we find horizontal asymptotes is finding the limit as x approaches infinity of our function. If you remember, when we have a fraction like this, we find this limit by dividing each term by the highest power in the denominator. So let's say we're finding the limit as x approaches infinity. Remember, you want to find the limit as x approaches both positive and negative infinity. There we go. All right, so we have our function 2x minus 1 over x squared minus x. I look at my denominator for the highest power, which is x squared, and I divide every term by that power and see what I'm left over with. On the top here, my x's are going to cancel, and I'll end up with 2 over x. So I'll have 2 over x minus 1 over x squared over x squared over x squared is 1 minus 1 over x. Okay, and remember, when we have the limit as x approaches infinity, any number over x, we can just cross that out. That becomes 0. So on the top, I have 0 minus 0 over 1 minus 0. This will leave me with just 0. And if I were to go through both positive infinity and negative infinity, I'd end up having uh, the same process, and I'd have the same answer in the end, just 0. So for both positive and negative infinity, I have the horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. Okay, horizontal asymptote is done. Moving on to my vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptotes are wherever the function is undefined. So you want to go through your function and think, all right, is there any x value where if I were to plug it into this function, I wouldn't get a valid answer? It's kind of nice with fractions because you know that this function will be undefined wherever the denominator equals 0. So we can take our denominator and just set it equal to 0, solve for x. Take out an x, and we're left with x times x minus 1 equals 0. Set both terms equal to 0, and you get x equals 0, and x is equal to 1. So that means that our vertical asymptotes are the lines x equals 0 and the lines x equals 1. And that's really it for this problem. So remember, for horizontal asymptotes, you find them by finding the limit as x approaches both positive and negative infinity. And for vertical asymptotes, you solve for it by finding wherever the function is undefined. When you have fractions, that's just wherever the denominator equals zero. And that's it for this problem. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in, but all the sections and problems I referenced were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sidrich. You can either Schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.